Um, I am weirdly super excited, but I'm also really nervous. Um, it's weird, like I've wanted to be in this band program forever, and to think that I'm about to perform with Pride of the Mountains is ridiculous, like it's crazy. For the yield of a six minute performance, you put in weeks and weeks and weeks of time. Um, you put in so much effort into every little detail of performance because mar with marching band you have to be completely uniform across the board, otherwise all effect is lost and we've really achieved that I think. It's almost incalculable just the amount of hours that we spend on and off the field with music, with just visual basics, personal practice, trying to, you know, teaching things and sectionals and in caption. It, the, the amount of work that goes in, into preparing a show like this is unreal. Um, well, last year we had the shows for, it was basically based off of us going to Macy's, and this year I, um, I think it's more about us as a whole, about that word, that's what's up. I really like this show. Um, coming off of a Macy's year in the Street Beach, in the Street Beach show, um, I think this show is a lot more laid back in a way, but I also think it's really what the Pride of Mountain needs to push us forward as far as overall production goes. A lot of thoughts went into this show, and I can't wait to actually get to fully complete it. Uh, as high brass coordinator, what do you say? Um, I do my normal job uh, during rehearsal um, as an instructional staff member. Uh, I clean drill, uh, work with music, um, and then I run warm-ups. Uh, me and Brandon, who's uh, the low brass coordinator, uh, we run warm-ups um, for the entire brass section. Um, and then from uh, for the rest of the night, it's mostly uh, administrative and logistical. Um, we move equipment, uh, make, sure, make sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing in the stands, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, for the staff coordinators, the normal game day starts early in the morning. We unlock Coulter and all that good stuff, and then uh, we um, attend rehearsals, and then when everyone else is getting lunch and uh, kind of have some downtime, we make sure uniforms are good to go, uh, equipment's good to go, and then um, during the game, we're on a constant uh, line with the press box, and um, we pretty much get the okay for when it's time to play, and then... Uh, the band performs halftime and post game, and then we pack it up, lock up culture at night, and call it a day. Um, definitely really emotional. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen when I actually hit the field. Um, I'm excited though, and I'm going to give it my all, like I always do. But I'm excited. Last year, <laughs> let's do this. That first hit, this is my first time seeing um, an actual Pride of the Mountains halftime without performing. That first hit, it just, it really does hit you. It was a great performance. They have a long way to go, but it'll be great. Uh, it was unbelievable. I remember my first time seeing the Pirate Mountains as a freshman. It's, it's still hard to believe that I'm actually a part of this amazing band as a freshman in college now. It's, it's beyond unbelievable. You know, being out here with Pride of the Mountains, you know, coming to football games, I don't think you ever 
ever get over that feeling of that, you know, incredible feeling you're performing on the field. Fantastic. A lot of energy and, and the band definitely fed off the energy from the crowd in it. It was just a great performance. For that first opening hit, you know, um, it just, it was a culmination of every single rehearsal. Um, everything was worth it at that point. 